hi guys welcome back to my channel uh, so uh, this is a general video for all the students who have just entered into MBBS right or are going to take admission into the various colleges this year first of all I want to wish you all a very hearty congratulation uh, for clearing you know one of the one of the most difficult exams in the country that is NEET UG and uh, you all will be the future doctors so yeah doctor this video uh, is basically about USMLD right how you need to go about it what is NEET PG and why early sensitization to it is required even if you are a first year student and uh, other competitive exams like INICT and even UPSC okay so let us begin first of all, all right uh, so let me talk about the resources now starting with MBBS basic books right first prof I've already told you you write again anatomy physio and B chem for anatomy you will need Gray's anatomy at least pictures plus BD Chaurasia right and for practical like for DH what is DH you will have dissecting hall periods for I think two to four hours not too sure every day where you will be required to have cunningham I don't know if they ask you but don't buy it right now first go to the college and then see but before that Grey's Anatomy and BDC are a must this is a one volume book and this is a three plus one volume book this is very small patli CL okay then for physio either genome I haven't read this but I've heard it's very good for competitive exams or guidance this is a very good book I have read this and it helps you build your concepts for BCAM, Harper plus USMLE first aid in every subject it's advisable to do USMLE as and then with the subject if you are planning to give USMLE in your second uh, in your third prof or by the end of your second prof right coming to second prof the subjects are patho micro then pharma and forensic right forensic there are many books ready parik just go uh, with what your college seniors tell you because it will help you with the exams as well right for patho robbins this is one book which you have to read have to read most of my batchmates haven't read this book but it is a beautiful book and it is mandatory to read this book not advisable mandatory right apart from that there is one book indian author book harsh mohan that you can read as well for micro anant narayan is sufficient and there is a parasito book also right that is a very small book i don't remember the name but these two come together then for pharma kdt that is kd tripathi and the standard book is cadzam but it's okay if you don't do cadzam kdt is good enough right along with it do one thing when you are in your second prof and you are reading pharma there is a classification of drugs 
at the beginning of each chapter right so what you have to do is uh, take a chart paper make the heading and write the classification and paste it on your wall so that you won't forget it because pharma is one volatile topic that keeps uh, that you keep forgetting i still have to revise it at least 10 times to remember the drugs right then coming to third prof psm park right guys don't buy all these books right now just buy your prof books if you are in first prof buy these if you are in second prof buy these books why because the edition of these books changes and it's better if you have the latest edition uh, if you want to read these books if even if you are in a you know uh, first prof and you want to read robins then just download the pdf from libgen okay so moving ahead park this you have to read no substitution of the parsons this is a good book then uh, ent i think everyone reads this book this is dhingra right uh, in ofta you can also read khurana parson is good it is written by aims professor then fourth prof let's start with the big subjects medicine harrison have to read have to read beautiful book robins and harrison's are harrison is are two books that you have to have with you the beautiful books right i mean very beautifully written you can do one thing as well when you start pharma in your second prof right download pdf of harrison and look at treatment from harrison this is what i did in my second prof right because uh, you have questions in pharma that ask you write the treatment for typhoid suppose uh, so in kdt it is given but it's not given that well if you write it from harrison you will score more it is not important to remember the dose of the drugs right you will get confused how will i remember all the drug doses it's not that important some basic doses are all right but uh, yeah this is what it is then surgery bailey and love again it's a very good book right and there was also this book some manipal manual we used to read in our college but bailey and love is good so you will have to substitute some things from your notes like if you are taking some coaching then those notes you can integrate in bailey and love or vice versa but one reading is must then after medicine surgery what do we have gynae obgyn we have datta okay and uh, peds you will have ghai opi ghai is the book and there is also a small book called aims protocol don't read it in your final year if you wish to read it then read it but it has some topics are very good like uh, you can check out nrp from there any latest guidelines or in inict if you are an aspirant for a good college then read this book like some topics are good then a uh, short subjects i personally did not read any book for them because i had my notes i had notes from dams because only one question come for example in my medicine paper what they do is yeah they don't uh, you won't have separate exam for them they will integrate them with your main topics like medicine will have questions from derma psyche then surgery will have questions from anesthesia ortho radio okay yeah so that is how for derma you can uh, buy nina khanna it is written by aims professor and if you don't want to read it just look at the images they come in inict exam 
okay so these are all the books mm -hmm, I think that's it for USMLE you have a first aid right then you have U world from where you should do NCQs I've already mentioned in my introduction videos how you approach your world then there are pathoma lectures then Kaplan series anyone but first aid and your world I think they are sufficient to crack and uh, to have uh, to score a good rank in USM right okay first of all what is USMLE so uh, like it is a licensing exam for US right like some people who pursue their MBBS from foreign countries like uh, Russia China etc when they come back to India they have to give an exam FM, uh, FMG exam to get MCI certification after which they can practice in the country or they can give the entrance exams like NEET PG. Similarly, for practicing in USA or for acquiring a license to practice in USA, this exam is important. Uh, so basically what uh, are uh, other steps? It has a step one, right? And step two. In step one, uh, the first and the second year subjects are asked like anat, physio, bchem, pharma, along with forensic and ethics. Okay, and in step two, the clinical uh, or the long subjects are asked like medicine, pharma, uh, sorry, medicine, surgery, gynae, peds, psyche right and uh, previously they also used to have step 2 CS which was the practical exam but due to the COVID pandemic they have cancelled out cancelled it out for the 2022 session and instead of that you just have to give an English proficiency exam okay what are the advantages of giving USMLE is first uh, to do a residency in US and uh, second if you have done PG from India then to do fellowships in the US you need to clear stage 1 stage 2 along with the English proficiency exam or the USMLE exam in total now in residency you get a score like right like 253 270 this is a very good score and accordingly you get matched with your favorite subject so the most easy subject to get there is medicine and peds yeah this comes in the first year in the second year ja uh, radio derma and very difficult if you have scored exceptionally well right and your interview has gone very well and you've done ample amount of research then you can even get subjects like orbs surgery and even psyche they're very difficult to get into so what you need to know is that while matching what the US people uh, expect us that we should have participated in co extracurricular activities like organizing fests, debates, etc. Sports. That's very important. Right. Secondly, publishing a paper or paper presentation in conferences. So your college might be organizing conferences try and you know ask your um, hod or your professor to help you in presenting a poster or a paper that would be really beneficial for uh, you know uh, getting your desired match in the usmd exam this is important secondly what happens is that uh, for fellowships suppose if you have done md or ms in India then you need to clear USMLE and then you will get admission to a fellowship program 
बट वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी क्लियर स्टेप वन राइट सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक माइक्रो एन एट बी केम फिजियो सो दीज आर द सब्जेक्ट्स दैट यू डोंट डू इन योर रेजिडेंसी अनटिल एंड अनलेस यू आर डूइंग एम डी इन दैम सो इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी क्लियर स्टेप वन देन इट बिकम्स इट कम्स हैंडी टू यू बिकॉज देन यू डोंट हैव टू गो थ्रू दीज सब्जेक्ट्स अगैन राइट एंड इट बिकम्स ईजियर टू डू फेलोशिप्स सो दैट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ यू एस एम एल ई वॉट यू शुड डू एज अ फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट राइट सो बिफोर दैट लेट मी टेक यू ऑन अ जर्नी ऑफ मेड स्कूल इन इंडिया राइट सो वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट यू हैव प्रॉफ्स लाइक प्रोफेशनल्स प्रॉफ वन प्रॉफ टू प्रॉफ थ्री प्रॉफ फोर फॉलोड बाय इंटर्नशिप राइट फर्स्ट प्रॉफ हैज सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक एनाटमी physiology and biochemistry this is very important as this these subjects will form your basics for the fourth prof subjects which are the clinical subjects second prof used to be of 1.5 years but now uh, someone was telling me that the duration has been shortened to 1 year i am not too sure about it i haven't talked to my juniors so that is it what are the subjects pathology micro forensic and pharma again these are the basic subjects first and second prof subjects are the basics and you need to have a clear understanding of them right so uh, in anat there are two books gray's anatomy if you it's better that you read the standard books because there is no replacement for standard books and gray's anatomy is a standard book for anatomy apart from that if you are not able to do it then at least see all the images from gray's anatomy while read bdc that is bd chaurasia the three books plus one supplement of general anatomy okay people generally ignore this book but this is a very important book okay for physio ganong or gaitan are the standard books i haven't read any other book or any indian author book so i cannot guide about it but if you read gaitan your basics will be clear crystal clear and it is not a big thing to read these books right we just have three subjects and we have to do it in one year it can be easily easily done and it will only help you in cracking exams like usmle and in fact next right because now instead of neat pg you will be having next type of exam which is based on us mle i have heard that it will be divided into two steps and the scores will be valid for 3 years or so and uh, you will uh, be asked like clinical uh, questions or you know clinical win- uh, vignettes based questions so it is important you get your concepts crystal clear hence it is better to go with these books and for biochemistry harper is the best book right if you can't do harper but i think being in the college it's better to do standard books also read first aid usmle part 1 for uh, as you complete each topic for example you start with anatomy so anatomy is divided into thorax upper limb lower limb neuro anat abdomen so for so and so forth so you take up lower upper limb right finish it from bdc look at all the pictures in gray and then do first aid this will complete your topic and you will have a clear understanding of it along with uh, us the usmle book has great tips and tricks to learn right then uh, for second year these are the books then 
uh, the books for second year i will talk about uh, i will make a separate video for all the books but for the first year students these books are very important i take a screenshot and buy these books like you have to have this or just download a pdf if you can't buy them if you want pdf message me i will give you the pdf or you can also download it from libgen this is a free library where you can download books all right then in third prof we have uh, clinical subjects psm ofta ENT and finally we have medicine surgery gynae peds along with short subjects like derma psyche radio ortho and then internship it lasts for one year in which you have rotations in various departments guys do not miss internship because internships are the base for your clinical skills right you will remember something better when you have seen it for example i remember seeing a case of svc obstruction in my medicine rounds and till date i do not forget about it what i haven't seen it is difficult for me to retain but what i have seen i have interacted i have taken history i always remember that case better so even in your second year and third year do not miss your postings go to the wards interact with patient take cases present as many cases to your uh, professors as you can because this will help you in future right and uh, start early because it will go a long way all right apart from that uh, i think inict will continue so what is inict it is exam for institute of central national importance like aims jipmer pgi and nimhans right so this is a separate exam and it is a very good exam if you have done your internship well if you have done your postings well it will be a piece of cake to clear these exams so that is it for mbbs students and usmle the importance of it i cannot stress upon so how should you plan to give usmle right so since step 1 is your first and second year subjects plus ethics which you can read you should give it after second year right like the best time would be after the prof ends for the second year or in third year mid of third year then step 2 give it after your final year during your internship right and then because uh, the scores are valid for 7 years so you can give it any time what you have to do is you have to go to this side my pen is not working hello like the site is ecfmg.org you have to fill a form it cost 150 dollars right you will get your ec fmg uh, some identification number right then you have to fill the uh, form for step 1 which is around 975 dollars currently and step 2 this is around 975 again i think so the total cost comes up to 1.5 lakhs approximately like all the steps included but this might seem as a large amount but remember that if you go to the us you can easily cover up for it in a month or so because the residency program pays you handsomely right so if you plan to go to us you should give 
यू एस एम एल एन इवन इफ यू डोंट प्लान टू गिव एटलीस्ट गिव स्टेप वन बिकॉज यू डोंट नो वे यू वॉन्ट टू बी एंड आफ्टर पी जी इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी क्लियर डेट इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू गो एंड इफ नॉट सेटल देन एटलीस्ट डू फेलोशिप्स देर और राइट सो दिस इज अ शॉर्ट वीडियो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज कॉमेंट बिलो आई विल आंसर दैम एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो डी एम मी राइट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस बाय बाय